Well, right, good afternoon, guys. I hope you're all keeping well in these COVID-19 times. I hope you're all staying in and staying safe or going back to work, whatever you're doing. Uh, today in the workshop, uh, we haven't got anything. The workshop is empty. So I thought what I'll do is I'll get my own car in, my little Prozo 206 uh, 1400 HDI, uh, and show you how to adjust the rear back brakes. I mean, the back brakes on this one aren't too bad, but I thought I'd go through the procedure and show you what you need to do. So let's get the car in. Right, so now we've got the car in, we've got the jack underneath. If you haven't got an air gun, I, this is the time to slacken off your wheel nuts before you lift it up into the air. And let's just get it up. That'll be quite sufficient, and if you haven't done so already, let the hand break off, which is a good idea. Like so. Alright, let's get the wheel off. First of all, are these little chromey plastic caps. And then we want the lock in wheel nut key. Right, so we put the uh, lock in key in the right one. 70mm nut just like so and remove the wheel next we've got to take off this dust cap that involves getting a little chisel down the side there and tapping it free. Alright, so you get your chisel. Get the chisel slightly around the edges. Work its way out. Like Alright, then we've got to undo the hub nut in the centre, which is peened over, and that is a 32 millimetre. I don't know if the air gun will do it, but we'll give it a try. Alright, so that's your, uh, uh, what did I say, it was 32mm nut out. It goes down there. And it's just going to work in the drum off. Like so, there you go, you've got a fixed bearing in the middle there, plenty of brake dust, so we'll give that a clean out first of all. Alright, a nice liberal dosing of uh, brake cleaner. And 
same for the inside of the drum as well. <clears throat> get the airline to give that a go over and I've got some light as well point of time is a good time to take a screwdriver and just apply a little bit of pressure to the pistons on the cylinder to make sure they go back in nicely make sure they're working and to have a quick feel around the give us the, the, the bellows a quick squeeze to make sure there's no fluid on the inside to indicate that the seals are starting to leak if all is nice and dry like it is there then we need to move our attention to the handbrake lever now the handbrake lever is this lever here this is operated by the handbrake cable where it comes in uh, from the outside and in its off position this lever should rest against the stop against the shoe if the lever is, is seized or the handbrake cable is not adjusted properly you'll find this lever comes right out here somewhere halfway and no matter how much you adjust the shoes you will not be able to you will not get to work right so you need to make sure with the handbrake off this lever is right back against the shoe and if you lever it gently from somewhere as i say get a screwdriver in somewhere and just lever it up and down to make sure that the the lever is free and you can see the the shoes moving in accordance there So what that does in effect is when this lever is pulled forward by the handbrake cable it pushes on this bar here which goes across and then as this shoe comes out that shoe gets forced out at the same time so it goes against the drum this is your adjuster this little screw here as the shoes wear down and you get more and more travel on the shoes this little arm pivots down and it will turn this little screw to adjust this threaded section outwards to take up the slack so in effect as the shoes wear down this this bar here gets longer and longer pushing the shoes out and then the pistons will come out to accommodate the new the new distance so <clears throat> so the next step is after we've made sure that this is fully returned home back to its stop we need to adjust it so the, the drum just about slips onto the over the shoes. So you take your drum, I mean these ones are adjusted fairly good. There's a little bit of slack in that, so we can pull it back off again. And the little wheel that's under here. If you just flick it around a couple of teeth with your screwdriver, say two or three teeth at a time, and then try it again. Give it a little bit more slack, and we'll have another couple of teeth. this won't take much but if the handbrake lever had been seized and we'd freed it off you might have to adjust this quite a bit I think that's going to be about perfect right so on the end of that arm this was the little wheel that I was on about. If it'll focus on there. 
it's a little starred wheel and all you do is you get your screwdriver behind there behind the star and then use it as a lever against the shoe and flick it round and it will move it against this spring which is here so if I move this out of the way you can probably see it a little bit better under there but as you as you um, adjust that clockwise it winds this thread out and makes this bar longer spreading the shoes so once you've got it to the optimum distance where you can just about get your shoes back on and that's back at its home it's time to put the drum back on back on again we haven't got the nut in yet but you've got the drum on and you can spin you've got to be able to, once it's fully home you've got to be able to spin it freely if it's binding or dragging then you've over adjusted it and you need to take the drum off and de adjust it slightly in reverse order because if you leave it so when it's dragging what it'll do it'll just get hot and it'll just cause you excessive wear on your brake shoes which you don't want so now we've got that bit done we now to need to install our hub nut again and I'll just whack that up quickly with the air gun and what we do we're going to get the torque wrench Here we're going to clean the way. Top wrench. Top wrench you've seen. Dial back down to zero. But you can't store these top wrenches tightened up. Remember to put the lock and lock key back in the car. Close the boot. Tighten that up. And we're going to take the car. Right, so that's it guys, just a little uh, quick how-to video to uh, have a look and adjust your back brakes if need be. Uh, don't forget, while you've got the, wheel, while you've got the hub off, uh, the drum off, uh, you can always put a bit of grease on the contact points around the shoes. Um, and the other thing to note is on the, uh, on, on the drum itself, on the inside of the drum, there's the ABS ring, um, which I'll put, a little, I'll put a little picture up here. Um, make sure the ABS rings are right and in the hub you've got the ABS ring that sticks through for the back plate just give that a wipe um, and yeah you're good to go fairly straightforward no complications um, if you have any questions just ask so till the next one thanks for watching